so AX was um, AX was a lot of fun. AX was a lot of fun. I um, I don't know how much of that is skewed because I haven't done an event in two and a half years, right? Um, but AX was a lot of fun. I enjoyed a lot of it. And I think, I think I was always going to, like, even in, so the last time I went was, last time I went was in 2012, right? Um, and the reason why I stopped going is because it kind of got really crowded. <laughs> it got really crowded and it got really complicated. See, before, before then... AX was really casual. Yeah, yeah, like, the, the big companies used to go there, ish, right? Um, but it still used to be really casual. In the sense that, like, you could, back in 2012, 2012 was probably the last year you could do this. Uh, and it was a struggle. But you could, in 2012, walk up to the, to a ticket booth, and buy a four-day ticket or a three-day ticket at the time there's no four days of it at that moment you could buy a three-day ticket on the spot and uh at the event like you literally show up and buy at the event you didn't have to like you know hope that you got a ticket in time you just bought the you bought you bought it like everybody else did at the event it was really it was really cool it was really nice uh, and then it started being this thing where you had to, like, wait online and, like, you know, make sure you get a ticket and everything sold out, like, within seconds. And it was like, now this sounds like way too much hassle. And, uh, no thank you. So, I stopped going. Uh, so this is my first time back in 10 years. A little jankier, but I expected it to get old fast. But it's been fun. I'm upset. I was just upset when you had the one mission where people spawned in the room with, uh, yeah. I, I also got upset, too. <laughs> I know, I know exactly which one you're talking about. It's a big company event for the West. Yeah, it's, it's, it's funny. It's funny though. Like everybody, everybody who had a booth as big as us or bigger than us was a much bigger company than Axis. And I was just realizing that like the only reason that Axis could do that sort of thing is because we were local. So it's like, we didn't have to buy so much. We didn't have to get hotels or anything like that. You know, we don't have to fly in. Um, outside of regular AX bullshit, which there was quite a bit of, AX itself was pretty fun. Um, I really, really did enjoy AX. Uh, and I think I was always going to, and the reason why I say that is because I like everything at AX, you know what I mean? Like, everything that you have possibly at AX, like, I enjoy. I enjoy anime i enjoy manga i enjoy vtubers now that's a thing video games um what else could be there you know like i just enjoy everything that could possibly be at ax uh cosplay oh i wonder i wonder if i could without too much struggle show you guys uh what i thought was the coolest cosplay of the weekends so there's 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 two things I, I'd, I'd want to say about the cosplay. One of them was that uh, the maid cafe. I didn't go to the maid cafe, but I also did not really have any interest in it. That and the fact that I was working uh, during that time, so it was it's kind of it was kind of difficult attending any of the panels that weren't uh, where it wasn't ours is uh, quite difficult. Did someone show up as a working Tekken 3 machine? No, someone worked, showed up as... Um, someone showed up as a working Tekken 3 machine. I don't know how to play Tekken 3, but I would try. Okay, let me see if I can get these... Uh, let me see if I can get these on the screen. Sorry, they have to come from my phone. So they're like going through a three-step process right now of ending up um, online... That's that is a crazy concept. That is a crazy concept, Barry. Um, to be a working arcade machine as cosplay is kind of insane, uh, by every stretch of the word. Okay, there you go. All right, cool. 
So, this was probably my favorite cosplay of the weekend. And uh, it was a Psycho Zaku Gundam. This guy, it, like, it, this, this, by the way, the, the, it's hard to put in perspective in the picture. Oh, hold on. It's hard to put in perspective in the picture, but he was much taller than me. Like, I probably was around halfway through this, like, shoulder pad right here on the side. So, they were, he was very, very tall. Um, so, there's probably either stilts underneath or the head wasn't actually where the head is. Uh, but, and then uh, I couldn't, I didn't get a full picture because it was in the middle of the crowd. But that's a full armor Gundam. And, uh... Super duper cool. Super duper cool. These are, and you know what's cool is that like Psycho and full, uh, full armor are not like super popular. Well, Psycho's kind of popular, but like they're not super duper popular. They're not like, you know, you're, they're not your Exias and they're not your, um, they're not your Sazabis and all of the, all of the stuff like that. Uh, so these people just really like these two Gundams. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I really wanted to show off because it was my favorite uh, cosplay of the weekend. Oh, hold on. There you go. Um, what else? Um, oh, so unsurprisingly, there's a lot of Spy X family cosplay, right? And I went into that kind of being like, oh, I didn't think I was going to be like, uh, you know, it, it, it's Spy X Family. Of course, there's going to be a lot. I didn't think I was going to, like, like it as much as I did. But seeing as much cosplay as I did was pretty cool. But the cool part was really seeing multiple full ensembles of the whole Briar family. Um, which I thought was really... Which meant that either a whole family was cosplaying together. And then... Or they they had a bunch of friends and someone had, had to be a slightly larger on. <laughs> um, but there was one dude who, and apparently he's a pretty famous VTuber that, or not VTuber, YouTuber. Apparently he's a pretty famous VTuber. I didn't know when my coworkers let me know, but he had an Anya, uh, a little girl, a little girl um, that looked about Anya's age, around five or six, right? He had an Anya, and. We asked him, we were like, hey, um, uh, what's it called? Hey, you know, is that your daughter? And he was like, no. <laughs> so I don't know if he just borrowed some kid for the weekend or, uh, hold on. I should do this for a second until we start playing. I don't know if he just borrowed a kid for the weekend or he was playing the bit, right? Like, that's not my, you know, this is Anya. She's not my actual daughter, right? Um, which was really, it really, really, really funny. Um, but it, it like the amount of, the amount of like your and Lloyd cosplay that I saw, uh, maybe sometimes without Anya was really, really cute. I thought that was like one of my favorite parts of AX was the like so many of that cosplay. Ooh. There you go. So many of that, so much of that cosplay was super duper cute to watch like couples walk together, walk around together. Uh, what else? Mm. And then pretty much everything is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty as you expect. There's a lot of Jujutsu Kaisen cosplay. Um, oh, the real surprise was that someone actually went, like someone who's pretty buff actually went a scar from Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, I didn't expect that. Uh, usually you see the Alphonse every now and then because Alphonse is, has the armor and that's pretty cool. But uh, I saw a scar and a Winry. I, I, I popped for that. There was... A lot of Jujutsu Kaisen, a lot of Maki, both Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, and um, and the and the and the the anime, the seasonal anime itself. So both the younger Maki and older Maki. Um, what else? 
I saw Yuta. I saw the, uh, I saw Yuta, and he had a little um, he had a little Rika Demon plushie on his shoulders. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, what else? Oh man, there was so much cool cosplay. <laughs> I tried to say for Full Metal Alchemist, but I, I I think I would have done the same thing if someone unpromptedly said just Scar. <laughs> Um, hmm. There's a lot of really cool cosplay. I never thought I, 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 I don't know if I'm ever one to do cosplay, but I was really hoping to get, oh, no, wait. Um, I don't really like end up, I don't like, uh, messing with cosplayers too much. I'm not one to like, I don't want to not too busy taking pictures with them or anything like that. I'll do that for wrestlers, surprisingly, but not cosplayers. I don't want to bug them. They're going to take like a thousand pictures that weekend, right? Um, but I, I did, I was in the middle of rushing back to my booth and I did see uh, a girl who is cosplaying Bokuto from uh, Haikyuu. And I was really happy because almost all of the cosplay that I saw for Haikyuu was Karasuno. And that's fine, because Karasuno has a bunch of, like, really, really good characters. And there was a, a good spread of that. There's, like, Suki and um, Hinata, of course, and Kageyama, and uh, Daichi. There's, like, a, the whole spread, like, uh, of, of different... Um, and also um, Kenma and Kuro as well. But the one... I saw one person... And Bokuto cosplay. I saw I saw the white jersey and I saw the number four in the back and I ran up. I was like, thank you rep for, for repping best boy. And she was like, yeah, I love him. And she lifts up her she lifts up her uh, her shoulders at um shirt her shoulder sleeve and she shows me a Bokuto tattoo from like a manga panel. And I was just like, oh she rules. You understand me. You understand who best boy really is. That was that was a fun moment. Uh, <laughs> um, other than that, it's a lot of what you. Oh, a lot of Demon Slayer uh, cosplay. That's probably also not surprising. A lot of these, um, a lot of Demon Slayer cosplay. I did have a I did have a really really fun time. I really did. Uh, I got to meet some people who said that they watched the stream. Uh, which was surprising. I didn't think anybody was going to do that, but that was pretty humbling. So that was really cool. I didn't think I was going to actually, you know, when you write tweets out, um, and you write tweets out, like, you know, uh, come to the booth and say hi to us, you know, that's kind of, a words you say for marketing slash nice tweets sort of thing not that i don't believe it i do encourage people to come in and say hi but it was still kind of like oh crap like people watch me that's wild 